So here we go. Here we see the base of an entire ecosystem, basically just a, an entire ecosystem dominated by this species of Chilean mesquite, this species of Prosopis, of course in the pea family, Fabaceae. This is the only large thing growing around here, and it, like I said, it probably is the base of uh, the entire food chain uh, in this uh, region, on this salty volcanic soil. So all the birds, all the insects, everything depends on this species of mesquite, which of course the seeds are edible, uh, also the insects probably have some sort of ecology with it, either nibbling on the uh, foliage or burrowing into the wood, birds then eat the insects, etc., and what the shit. This was probably a very important uh, plant for the uh, indigenous people here. You can see it's got the stipular spines, spines coming out of the, uh, the leaf nodes. Yeah, so there you go. There's some flowers just about to open. Over here we got some fruits. Now it is bone dry. This soil is bone dry. So I'm guessing these roots probably go uh, quite far down into that soil. Of course we get mesquite from uh, the Mojave Desert in California east all the way to Texas. And the Mojave, it rarely gets taller than 8 feet. You go to the Sonoran Desert where they got summer rain. They can become uh, up to this size, up to 20 feet tall. Wonderful shade tree, wonderful canopy tree. Anyway, there you go, mesquite, Chilean mesquite. All right, so you can see uh, the Prosopis is having no trouble at all growing on what appears to be some of the most, possibly the most fucked up soil I've ever seen. I mean, it's just, it's got the texture and the consistency of a bad batch of concrete, super rough, you know? Wasn't smoothed out, Vinny mixed the batch wrong, fucked it all up, forgot to smooth it out, you know, probably because he's uh, just has a shitty work ethic and he just made a batch of concrete, poured it on the ground, walked away. You know, but even Vinny couldn't fuck this. I mean, look, this is not even, <laughs> it's not even flat. It's, it feels like those, uh, some of those volcanic, uh, you know, basaltic uh, flows and lava flows in uh, northeastern California. It is brutal. And this is what uh, is on the ground everywhere. This is, it's just, it's like a, Almost looks like a gypsum salt. Probably just salt itself, but yeah, I mean, I'm just amazed that the mesquite, the Chilean mesquite, can grow here. There we go. There's some flowers on this uh, Prosopis tamarugal, and this one seems to be a natural occurrence of one. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, up further up the road a little bit, they seem to be farming it, which is cool. They're farming a native species, but uh, look how, how how much smaller the flower, the flowering spikes here are compared to the uh, the northern uh, hemisphere species. You got screwbean mesquite too up there in uh, New Mexico and Texas. Just the crazy pea family. And a weird thing too is you can actually hear the salt crinkling as it heats up in the sun. We were just under a cloud. Cloud cloud went away and just suddenly all at once there was this crinkling coming from this whole landscape as uh, you know it, it heated up in the sun. Just incredible. What is it? Someone took a shit? Oh, it looks like someone took a shit there. That's nice. Humans, huh? Oh, yeah, this is the shitting spot. Look at all the teepee. Anyway, I do have to say, this mesquite smells good. It does. You know, you could, you could catch a whiff. I'm not sure if that's terpenes coming out of the foliage or just the wood or what. But, of course, mesquite being what they use to uh, smoke meats and what the shit, you know, in the United States. And it's, it is the same genus, so... Okay, well, there you go. You got a tree growing out of straight salt. That's all I got for you this afternoon. Have a good rest of your day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.